All right. No, Minecraft is great. I, I truly believe it's great. In that, in that, it actually makes you think of things in real life. Now, of course, I would rather you were all playing with Lego, but since Lego costs a billion dollars and Minecraft is free, I guess I have to accept what is... Huh? No, you can play the Minecraft demo for free forever. No, forever. Yes, of course you can. But what's the important thing in Minecraft, Jasmine? The building stuff or unlocking your diamond sword? No, building stuff. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I am about to show you is a uh, real world thing. But it has applications to um, future trade. So what I am about to show you has a real world use, but it's also very important to some trig that we're going to do later. Okay? So what we're doing today... I can't remember if there's, there's a few questions about it through the, the work. Um, and I can easily explain how it fits into real life. But the concept behind it, I need you to remember for in about a, three or four days when we move on to higher level trigonometry. Okay? Everybody cool? Now, obviously I just gave myself away a bit. We're moving on to higher level trigonometry, which means... I have to do some assessment of you on basic trigonometry. So expect a quiz sometime early next week. And of course, we need, do we need to worry or be stressed about quizzes? No. You know I will give it a different funny name and then you can just relax because then it's just another worksheet. And worksheets don't stress you out at all, do they? Of course not. So we are going to do two things here. So I need you to draw, we're gonna, you're going to use both halves of your paper. Over on the left, draw the Cartesian plane. But it is not a Cartesian plane. That is a compass. And the way we read compasses, what direction have we arbitrarily assigned to the top? North. Now, of course, that's not real, is it? North is not up, right? It's up on a map, because on a map, we have to set things up in two dimensions. Now, what really blows people's minds is if you see a map of the world turned over. So Antarctica is on the top. And when you do that, many people cannot even find their own country on it. Crazy, hey? Like, if I drew the map of the world, <laughs> North America and South America, all of you are like, yeah, no problem. But if I did this, what the hell? Of course, Canada is right there. Where's BC? Bottom left. Yes, I know, right? It's still the same world, right? This is Baja, California. This is Florida, which hangs off the end of America like what it looks like because that's what Florida is. It's a horrible place. Yes, it is a horrible, horrible place populated by people that you do not want to spend time with. I don't care. Florida needs to know how I feel about it. 
There are no crocodiles in Florida. There are alligators in Florida. I do not wish to spend any time with dinosaurs because a crocodile would, or an alligator would rather eat you than look at you. So why would you want to spend time with them? No, they are not cute. They are dinosaurs who want to eat you. So, anyways, what? Yeah, yeah. And it blows people's minds. Why it blows people's minds, I, I know it's because of what you're used to seeing. There is no up and down north and south in space. There is no up and down north and south on our planet. When I was, your, when I was a little kid, I thought, how do the people in Australia walk around without the blood rushing to their head? They're upside down. When I was a little, little kid, my mom was like, you're an idiot. Of course they're not upside down any more than we are right side up. And I was like, what? And my mom's like, you're a moron. All right. So anyway, we have decided that north is up. What have we decided is on the right? East. Excellent. And at the bottom, south, never eat soggy wieners. Right? Never eat shredded wheat. Never eat... Never enter San... Oh, I've never heard that one. Never enter Stinky Waffles. I've never heard that one. Never. Well, of course, you know. What, what do you got, Prep? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. All right. So, anyways. Uh, now, we measure directions with degrees. You have all, if you have played Call of Duty, you know that when you go in the sniper scope, you can see the little numbers up the top, and as you pan side to side, those numbers move. Those numbers are degrees. What is the biggest number on that scope? No, 360. Why? Because that's a circle, right? If I'm trying to do the sniper headshot on the bad guy over there, and I turn all the way around, it's going to go from zero to 360. Yeah? Right. Okay. So. I choose to use things like that because that's what you people understand. I, of course, think it is appalling that we make killing people, shooting people in the head entertainment. But that is just my opinion, even though it's the right opinion. But whatever. We'll talk about that another day when we have more time. It's a game about killing people. Like Far Cry and... Uh, uh, well, just about every video game kids play. Okay, again, just about every video game kids play. The PlayStation 4 exists solely to kill people. The only thing about... The only games that are good in the PlayStation 4 are first-person shooters. Huh? Huh? <coughs> yeah, that's, again, I'm going to say it slower. Just about every game you people play. I don't know, Selena, because I am not studying that for a living. I am saying that in my experience, just about everything you people do for entertainment requires you to kill people. And that bothers me. That's all I am saying. So, you know this is going to go 360. We have arbitrarily assigned north as zero. Now, we move... Now, there's two ways to do this. We move clockwise. So this is what degrees? 90. This is what degree? 180. This is what degree? 270. So if I tell you I am walking on a bearing... Or on a heading, because at our level, they mean the same thing. If I tell you that I'm walking on a bearing of 38 degrees, where do I start measuring my walk from? North. Ab absolutely. And I will start walking from where on this thing I have drawn? From where? No, not from zero. No. Where do I start measuring from? I start measuring from the north. Yes. But where do I start walking from? 
Somebody said it already. The middle. This is where my course starts from. All right? Now, if I walk at 38 degrees, in what general direction am I walking? Northeast, right? So I'm walking over here. All right? Everybody cool? So I'm just going to draw me a red line that goes... Well, I'm not going to use red because I use red for where I started from. I'll use um, green. Everybody cool? Where is the 38? On the left or the right of my green line? On the left, because I start counting from zero. Everybody cool? 38. Can I, right now, do trigonometry? No. Why not? Arsh. I'm sorry, Arsh, I couldn't hear you. I need to know one of the distances. Okay. So if I give you this distance, I walked, pretend I walked 18 kilometers. Can you do trigonometry yet? I can? What do I need before I can do trigonometry? I need another side. I need a triangle, yeah? So how could I take this real-life situation, me walking in a straight line, and apply some trig to it? What would I have to do? I would have to add a side, yes? And then get a measurement for it. So I could go there, couldn't I? There's a triangle I could do trig if I walked 18K. Everybody cool? All right. What if... When I get to this point, which I am going to put an orange X on, what if I then turn to a direction of 98 degrees? 98 degrees doesn't need a way. 98 degrees is a heading. It's a direction that I go. So I'm asking you to tell me how... Will you draw the, red, the orange line when I have started walking at 98 degrees? Talk to your neighbor for a second, see if you can figure it out. This I walked at 38. You see if you can figure out how to... What do you have to do at that orange X? Head east. Head east. So Selena says I would walk straight that way. Ninety-eight. Okay, so uh, Ganika says I would have to walk something like that. Okay, Thomas. Actually, you're on a you're on a right track with the very first thing you said, Jasmine. Did you have something to add? Jasmine, you're talking behind your hand. I can't hear a word you're saying. Oh, now, see, you, between you and Thomas, you're almost on the right track. When I get to here, I need a new direction, don't I? How do I measure direction? What was the very first thing I did before I measured direction? I built the compass, Yes. So what do I have to do here? Build another compass. Everybody with me? So that brings me back to the middle. Now where is 98? 90 would be straight out here where Selena said to go. No, don't apologize. But I'm really going down here. Because this is 98. Is everybody cool? What happens if I turn at this point? What do I have to do? Make another compass. Everybody with me? All right. So that's part of it. Excellent. Now, what then happens if I want to find out how far away I am at this yellow point from where I started? Where would I put that line? Desley? I would connect it. Is everybody cool? All right. 
Now, do you know anything about these angles in here? You do. You know tons about these angles, right? No, none are, but you know stuff about them. And here is what I'm going to say. You know you took off at 98, right? So how big is an, this angle right here? How big is just this part of the angle from that purple line to this purple line? Arch. 82. Why? Because I went to 98 and this whole thing is 90. I used eight of them, yeah? So this is 82. Cool? Okay. Do you know this side of it? You do because you understand angle of inclination and angle of depression. How big is the brown side? 30, 38. So how big is the whole angle? 38 plus 82, which is 120. Is everybody cool? Now, I'm not asking you to do trig with that yet. I'm just asking you if you're cool with it. Does everybody understand how we got 82, 38? No. Excellent. Good. Are some people okay with how we got it? Lovely. So now I'm going to show you again on another section of the uh, compass here, okay? I am now going to walk from my original red position at a heading of 192 degrees. Where is that? It's going to be down here, yes? So I'm going to choose another color, uh, light blue. So this is 192. Everyone agree? Everybody agrees, yes? Can I do any trig with that right now? No. To do trig with that, I would need to make either that triangle or that triangle, yes? All right. Now, to do trig here, I need an angle there, don't I? Well, if it's 180 to here, how big is that angle? 12. Why? Because I used 180 to get to there and then 12 more to get to 192. Everyone cool? So this would be 12. What, and I'll use dark blue for the other one, what would this one be? 88. 78. Why? Because that's the rest of this 90 degrees. Yes? Everybody cool? Now, if that is 78, what does that make this one? 78. And if that is 12, what does that make this one? 12. Does everybody understand it in one direction? Everybody now. So now go back and look at what we did over here. You know that every one of these corners is 90 degrees, yes? So all I am doing is adding and subtracting from 90 to figure out all of this. Are you all cool with that? I'm going to run through it now again slowly. So you are all okay now with the green line being 38, yes? And you are all okay now with understanding that if that's 38, so is that because of depression and elevation, right? Even though I'm not going up and down, it's the same principle, yeah? Okay, which means when I turn at this spot, now I've got 90s to work with, don't I? I've used 38 of them there. Does everybody understand that? Now, when I take off this way on the pink line, I told you it was 98, yes? Well, the black line would be 90, so this has to be 8. Agreed? So what is this part between 8 and that line? 
Now do you all understand that it is 82? And do you all understand that that 38 and that 82 make one giant angle of 120? Is everyone cool? That is one form of using degrees in real life. Okay? So I just want to make sure everybody's good with that now. Um, I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to choose red. And I'm going to tell you that my red, when I start walking, I'm going to be walking at 287 degrees from my red starting point. What direction am I walking? 287 degrees. Northwest, approximately. Not directly northwest, because directly northwest would be 315 degrees, right? Halfway between 270 and 360, yeah? So I'm walking off at 287. Turn this into two triangles with which I can perform trigonometry. You can talk to your neighbor if you need to. 287. So where are those two triangles going to be? Remember, I'm not asking you to actually put any numbers in yet. I'm just asking you to show me where the triangles would be so I could do trig. Who would like to volunteer that information? Selena, hit me. From north out to there creates a triangle I can do trig with, yes? Where else? Arsh. Use the directions, dude, like Selena did. From west, up. And that would create that, yes? Now, put in the numbers so I could do trig. What would go here? 17. So what would go here? 17. What would go here? 73. What would go here? 73. Now, since I have all the angles... If I know any distance on this triangle, can I work out everything else? Is everybody cool? Suhani. If I go all the way around to there, what degree is west? No, 270. But I went to 287. So I went past 270. How far? 17. How far is this angle between west and north? It's 90. Well, if I use 17 of it there, what's left over? 73. Everybody understand? All right. That is one way of doing directions in real life. And this version of those directions goes from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. Everybody could do it? All right. Now, over here, we're going to do another compass. North, east, south, west. The other way that we do directions is as follows. We have a direction using our relative position. What does relative, posi what does relative mean? According to a reference point, yes? Right now, relative to you, I am at the front of the room, right? But for me, I would argue I am at the back of the room. Why? Because I am facing that way, yes? And forward is the front. Does everybody understand what I am saying? If I move to the right... What direction should I go? Tell me. Where should I roll my chair to go right? Exactly. Which do I mean, Brad? Did I tell you? No. So it's a relative position. For me to go right, I go that way. But for you, that's left. Everybody understand? 
So right, left, front, back depends on me or you or the viewer. North, south, east, and west, does that depend on the viewer? No, of course not. That way's north, no matter what. Everybody with me? So I say I'm going to move to the right. I go that way, you all say that's the left. We can't agree. I'm going to move north. Everybody cool? All right, so let's do that. The, way, the other way we measure direction is as follows. We have a, a direction, an adjustment, and then a direction. Hey, Ms. Doan. No, she got her finger surgery yesterday, so she is recovering. Okay, the first direction is your starting direction. Your adjustment is an amount of degrees, and your second direction is uh, where you end up. So here is what I mean. If I told you I was going to walk North, I'm going to change colors because I, I did the definition in red. If I told you I was going to walk north, 27W, where do you think that would be? What direction, Thomas? Northwest, northwest absolutely. Because I started going north, but I adjusted 27 degrees to the west. So if there was no adjustment, my blue line would go straight up here, wouldn't it? But it has been adjusted to what direction? West. There's the west. So I'm going off to the west. How far? 27. Right? So this is north 27 west. Agreed? Everybody understand that? Where is the 27? Between West and blue or north and blue? North and blue. This is 27. Does everybody understand? Which automatically makes this angle what? 63. Everybody cool? Now, knowing what you know about this kind of notation, tell me what the red line would be. which isn't starting in a north direction. Brendan. West, 63, north. Does everybody understand? In the red line, I went west, but I adjusted 63 to the north. Please notice they're exactly the same line. Everybody understand? So I want you to draw me two more lines. I want you to draw me east, 32 south and I want you to make the trig triangle like we made over here everybody cool then I want you to draw me west 38 south I'll wait a moment for you to sort that out. Holy crap, that was stupid. This is yesterday's coffee. I had the exact same thing today. I, like, I was leaving school, I was like, I'm going to get myself some coffee. And there was like not that much coffee. And so I was like, well, I guess my parents just drank all the coffee. And I didn't even check to see if it was hot. And then yes. I came here and I drank my coffee. It was cold coffee. You were all aware that normally I have this full of coffee in the morning. Because normally I drive to school. Today, I did not drive to school because I'm leaving after school to go to Powell River. My wife is picking me up on the way through because her conference is in Harrison. So I rode the bus to school today, which means I did not want to carry my coffee cup all the way from my house to the bus stop in Chilliwack. So I just got a Star Yucks. But I am so used to reaching for a sip of coffee here that I just reached for a sip of coffee, even though I did not bring this day, and took a sip of yesterday's gross cold coffee. 
Well, where am I going to empty it? When? I am in front of you right now. I am teaching. Yes, I could have yesterday, but I forgot. All right. Where is the green line going? Between where? East and south, down here. Now, does it really matter where I draw it? No, right? Because we're going to write the numbers in. We don't have a protractor. So 32, that's about a third of the way, yeah? So I'm going to draw it over here. Everybody cool? Now turn it into the trig triangles. What's that? 32. What's that? 58. Everybody understand? Okay. Now, if you really understand, tell me this green line, but in this notation. <gasps> Myers, you son of a motherless goat. Motherless goat. It's from the second best movie ever about Hollywood stars who pretend to be heroes and fight off outlaws. It would be what? 122 degrees. Absolutely right. Because this would be 90. We added 32. So in this notation, this green line is 122 degrees. Everybody cool? Okay. Which part, McKenna? Okay. Do you understand that this is 32? Do you understand that this is 90? Well, if this is 90 to there and I'm going all the way to there... Isn't it 90 degrees and then 32 more? And isn't 90 plus 32, 122? So that's how we got it. Cool? All right. Where does the pink line go? Southwest, basically, yes. So I'm going to draw that line in. Where's the 38? Between the pink and the south or the pink and the west? Pink and the south. There's the 38. So what does that make this? Nice. So where's the 38? Over here. So what's this? 52. Well done. I caught no one. Then we make the trigs. So we've done that. Now, what is this angle? And this is going to mess you up. What is this angle... In this notation. What? 232. Please notice that we could not use the 38 part of that to do this calculation this time, could we? Right? Jasmine. Where? It's 180 plus 52. Cool? Is everybody good? Yeah? Everybody can work in both directions? Okay, now I don't want you to write this down. I just want you to think. Okay? Just think. Yeah? Everybody cool? Everybody cool? 37 kilometers on a heading of 37 degrees, yeah? 30 or 32 kilometers on a heading of 37, yeah? Okay, okay. Um, just give me a sec.
Now, again, I do not want you to write this down. I just want you to think. There's no room on your paper to write this down, but I want you to think about it. So I start walking. What do I need as soon as I start a course? I need a compass. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw my compass. Everybody cool? Where's 37? Sorry for the interruption. All students that have handed in a form and are going on the museum trip to Vancouver, that's the ELL students and the ABED students, please come down to the Rotunda now. So that is all ELL students and ABED students that have handed in a form for the Vancouver trip, please come down to the Rotunda. Thank you. Where's the 37? Between north and my direction of walking, yes? So I'm going to go ahead and walk this way. This is 37, yes? Degrees. How long is, did I walk? 32. Everybody cool? When I have gotten to 32 kilometers, I turn 85 degrees towards the south. When I turn, what must I have? Another compass. Right? So normally, I'm walk, if I kept walking without turning, the line would go off up here, yes? But I'm turning 85 degrees towards the south. Where is south? On my drawing. Down. How far did I turn? 85 degrees. So I am going to go from this black line, which I did not walk, 85 degrees this way, correct? Everybody agree? Okay. How far... Did I go here? If this is 37, what's this? 53. So what's this? 53. Agreed? I need to go 85 degrees. How many more degrees must I go? 32. Is everybody cool? So this is 32. And now I take off this way. Everyone okay? All right, and I continue until I am directly east of my camp. Yeah? How far away am I? Now, what is the only thing that will help me here? Trigonometry. What do, at your level, do you need to do trigonometry? Before you have a calculate, before you need your calculator, you need something else, Suhani. What? You need a triangle. Do you have a 90 degree triangle? Where? You don't have a 90 degree triangle. Because if this is 32, what's this? 58, right? And what's this? If this is 37, this is 53, right? So I don't have a 90 there. This can't be 90. And this can't be 90. So what can I do? Well, A, yes, you could learn more trig. Or B, you do this. What is this? What is this? 53, right? Yeah? That gives me a theta of 53 and an hypotenuse of 32. And I need this side, yes? What is that side? Adjacent. So what would I use? Cos. Agreed? Now, on this side, which I'm going to do in pink, do I know this distance? What is it? That was 32, because 53 and 32 is 85. So this is 58, correct? So in this pink triangle, I have a theta of 58. And what else? I don't have anything, do I? Except can I not find that? Yeah, because once I know this... I've got that and a hypotenuse, yes? So I can use that. Will that be opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? 
That will be my adjacent, which I can Pythagoras from the red triangle, yes? And then once I have that adjacent, what do I need? I need the opposite, which will be down here, right? I'm going to call that Y, and this adjacent was X. What do I then do with X and Y to find my distance? Add them. Everybody understand? You don't need to write it down. We're going to do lots of practice with that later. I just wanted to see if you could put it all together without the added stress of trying to get it written down. Is everybody cool? Which part, McKenna? Because I, I can't help if you don't know where you got lost. That's why I didn't want you to write it down. I wanted you to be cataloging in your head. Do you understand the blue line? Do you understand that at this point, I turned? Okay. Do you understand that if I didn't turn there, that blue line would continue? That should have been blue. Son of a... That would continue. Do you understand that? Cool. When I turn right there, I have to make a new compass because I have a new heading. Yes? Do you understand that I turned 85 degrees to the south? South is on, in a drawing downwards. So I went this way, 85 degrees. Are you cool with that? All right. And I know I'm looking at you, but that's only because you said you didn't really get it. I know there's other people that need this, so I'm not trying to single you out in any way. So you understand you moved 85, yeah? All right. Do you understand that this is 37 and this is 53? So do you understand that this here also has to be 53? Okay. So there is 53 degrees of your 85. Still cool? So I need to go 32 more, yeah? So this is 32 to go 85 degrees, which gives me my yellow line. You cool? All right. Now, if this part of the yellow line is 32, you now know this and this, don't you? Because they're going to add up to 90, right? Okay. So now I want to know how far away I am. But I don't have a 90-degree triangle, do I? Until I do this. Now I have a 90, right? You understand why this is 53? And you understand we can do trig right there to find X. You cool with that? Okay, now, I now need this over here, don't I? So I need a 90 degree triangle, which I have, but I need an angle and a side, don't I? Well, I know that this is 32. What's the rest of it on the way to 90? 58. You cool there? Okay, so that's 58, right? So now... All this direction doesn't matter. Now it becomes a regular trig question. And I'm going to draw it bigger so you can see it. Thirty-two, fifty-three, fifty-eight. Cool? And I need that and that. Yes? Now to do trig, I need two sides and an angle or one side and an angle, right? So in the red triangle, I have that, don't I? I have a theta of 53. I have an hypotenuse of 32. And I need an adjacent of x. So I'm going to do cosine, yes? That's going to give me this value, which we know is going to be 32 cos 53, right? I'm not going to do the math because it's not important. Now, do I have a number there? Can I use that number and the hypotenuse to find this number. I'll just do Pythagoras, yes? So this number is going to be the square root of 32 squared minus 32 cos 53 squared. You cool? That's going to give me this hypotenuse, yes? Which is going to give me a number, Ganika. That's okay. Cold coffee? No, you good? Okay. Okay. 
you're cool that this is going to give me a number, correct? It doesn't matter what it is. It's going to give me a number, right? I'm going to call it A because I don't want to do the math. Now, look in this triangle over here. Do I have a theta? What is it? No, McKenna has to do this, guys. Do you understand that I have a theta here? Right, 58. What is this side? A. So I, oh, I shouldn't use A, opposite and adjacent. Damn it. I'm going to call this side uh, M for math. So this is my adjacent side equals M, whatever that number is, correct? Yeah. And I need that, don't I? What is that? Opposite is Y. What uses O and A? Soka Toa. What uses O and A? Tan. So tan of 58 equals opposite Y over adjacent, big M. So big M times tan 58 will give me Y, yes? Once I have Y, I already know X from over here. What do I do with those two numbers to see how far away I am? Add them. So M tan 58 plus X will give me my answer. Right? Cool? Okay. Everybody cool? What's the key? Every time you change directions, you got to have a new compass. And everything is based on 90. Everybody good? All right. Uh, I'm going to shut up. Um, did people do all their puzzle sheets and find all the fun jokes? Aren't they wicked? He's a terrific butter-in-law. Ah. What do they call it? The big grass field on an orbiting satellite? A park in space. A parking space. Ah. And finally, Europe. Your turn to bat because you're up. Uh. An underground garage. A wall-to-wall -wall car pit because you dig a hole and cars go in there. Preston. Number 19. Oh, T. Where is T? This one. Okay. Well, um, if this is 8 and this is 200, the angle of depression. Well, remember my drawing? Here's the plane. Here's me. This is an angle of elevation, isn't it? So the guy in the plane is looking down to see the angle of depression, yes? So if you know the angle of elevation, you know the angle of depression. So this triangle, 200, 8. You need that theta. What's that? Opposite. What's that? Hypotenuse, because it's across from the 90. What uses O and H? Sine. Okay? All right, now, everybody did the puzzles. The puzzles uh, actually are placed poorly in the book. The puzzles should be before these word problems. I should have done that, because the word problems make, have, make you think differently. Um, did anybody... But the word problems have the answers. Did anybody wish to ask about anything on 57 and 58? You have the answers. Yes, Kanika. So page 57. 57. Um, I think it's 10A. 10A. Okay. All right. Well, you, you've seen that before. You all know that. You've sent a bad text and the proofreader missed it. Right? It is actually good that that happened. Is the math right? Like, do you know how to do trig? Let's be honest. One triangle trig, Sokotoa, every single one of you in here can do it. Right? So when you get an answer, are you right? Yeah, you are. Right? 
If I told you to tell me the answer to this question, what is it? 10. And you check in the answers, and the answers say A, 11. Do you know you did the math right? What is more likely? You can't add 3 and 7? Or somebody hit a wrong button and it made it through? Somebody hit a wrong button and it made it through. Right? Everybody with me? So when you are doing this, if you come to a situation like that where you're 100% sure you did the math right, and this is by number 10, yes? So if you've been good on 4, 5, and 6, you know you're doing your trick right, correct? So what is more likely? They screwed up. Everybody with me? So don't get hung up on that. If it happens, circle it and do exactly what you did. But don't sit at home. Uh, yeah, you all do that because I have taught honors long enough. You come in here without actually grabbing your hair and slamming the table, but in your head, you are metaphorically grabbing your head and slamming the table. Everybody cool? So everyone was okay with 57? Because 57, nothing real life, right? It's just triangles drawn on the page. What happened on 58? A couple of real life questions, yes? All right. Number 10 you want to talk about? Number 10? Okay. So, uh, can I just use, is this big enough for everyone to see? No? All right, I'll make it bigger. Yes? Where are the dimensions of a triangle? Where are the dimensions of a rectangle? The length and width, yes? So I need this distance and I need this distance, correct? What shape do the highlighted lines make? A 90 degree triangle, which means I can do what? Trig. Do you have a theta? What is it? 76. What else do you have? An hypotenuse of 18.9. What do you need? An opposite, that's the blue one. You need an opposite, that's X. Correct? Which means, what would you use right now? Sine. What if you want to find the yellow one? What would you use? The yellow one is Y, so you would use cosine. What the hell? No, it's because, wait, Betty is right now running to the phone. Disregard that bell because they set it for a five period day yesterday and nobody actually knows how to set the bells in a school ever. So just wait a moment. Every teacher is now going. Sorry for the interruption. Please disregard that bell. Um, <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. All right. Even word for word. Please disregard that bell. We were set for a five-period day yesterday, right? Huh? It wasn't Betty. You're right. Usually it is Betty. Mr. Sudhu must have been closer to the microphone at the time. But somebody down there went, <coughs> and ran. No need to, of course, because we are all intelligent, university-educated people. Did I let any of you move? No. Anyways. Is there a right one of these to do first? No. no. Could you do sine to find X and cos to find Y? Could you do sine to find X and Pythagoras to find Y? Could you do cos to find Y and Pythagoras to find X? Who makes that decision? You do. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you are having trouble with math in grade 10. Because no longer does Mrs. Bad Crumble sit at the front and say, do this, this way. What does Mrs. Bad Crumble say now? 
figure it out from the tools that you have. Understand that that is a paradigm shift from what you have been spending the last nine years of your life doing. Right? It is not that the math is more difficult. It is that you are faced with more choices. And those choices overwhelm you because you are used to having a set out path to follow. Is that your fault? No. Is that your teacher's fault in the past? No, because that is the way the curriculum was set up. What is expected of you is for you to recognize those patterns and the fact that all those paths are just tools to get you somewhere. The hope was you would see that. The reality is many of you have not. And that is not your fault. It is not your previous teacher's fault, nor is it my fault. But it is what it is. And we are going to use grade 10 to try and break you of that, this is the way you have to do it. And get you to, there's a way I could do this. I can find it. Everybody cool? Now, don't, don't get me wrong. There is plenty of stuff later on for those of you that need the do it this way. Uh, I'll hook you up. Right? Later on. But right now, I needed to open your eyes to the fact that the real world does not tell you how to solve a problem. The real world gives you a problem and expects you to figure out how to solve it. Everybody understand? All right. And that was the only question from 56 and 57? Everyone else cool? Okay. Um, it's 918. Why don't you take the last 10 minutes off and have no homework for your turkey day long weekend? If, if you are a member of another culture, I am interested. Do you, in your house, do turkey? You do? Kanika? Okay, now the next thing I was going to ask do you do a fall harvest feasty thing? But is it a thing with your family and a big festivaly thing? So that is the same, but you change the meal. Brittany, what do you got? What? You do lasagna. Yeah, turkey's a lot of work. I don't blame your folks for doing lasagna. What do you got? What? Oh, yeah, go. Catherine's Thanksgiving tradition is to pee. What do you got? 